Okay, take a gander at this interval. Now, probably the first thing you noticed was uh, the limits of integration, right? See, this integral goes from zero to infinity. Well, we're not accustomed to that. When you see something like this, this is one type of what we're going to call improper integral. So we've got infinity as the upper limit here. So this poses a challenge to us because we're used to using the fundamental theorem of calculus, where we find the antiderivative, and then we plug in the top limit and subtract off the antiderivative when we've plugged in the lower limit. Well, we can't plug in infinity. So here's how we deal with an integral like this. We would change it to a, a, a limit. So I'm going to use b here. I'm going to say, well, let b go to infinity, and I'm going to replace infinity with b. And I've got 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. So the only thing I've changed is I've taken out that infinity, and I said, okay, I'm going to find the antiderivative and plug in b, and then I'll just let b go to infinity. That's the way we're going to deal with it. So, so let's, see, uh, let's see what this is going to look like. Now, you may recognize that 1 over 1 plus x squared, that is the derivative of arctangent. So what we have now is we have the limit as b goes to infinity of arctan from 0 to b. Okay, now let's see, let's see where we can go from there. I can go ahead and plug in. So I've got the limit as b goes to infinity of arctan of b minus, now I don't need to use the limit over here. I'm just going to say arctan of 0. Okay, so now we want to see if we can figure out what these, these values are. Well. Recall what the, the graph of arctan looks like. Remember that arctan has horizontal asymptotes at pi over 2 and at negative pi over 2. Okay, so at, at negative pi over 2. Now, if you, if you recall, the, the graph, so it's asymptotic at the pi's over 2. It comes up here and is asymptotic at this pi over 2. So as x goes to negative infinity, the uh, arctan is asymptotic to negative pi over 2. And, it, and, and as you go to positive infinity, the asymptote is pi over 2. Now notice here at 0, I didn't do a very good job of sketching that there, but remember that arctan of 0 is 0. So we can use that now and evaluate both parts of this. Now, notice that arctan of b as b goes to infinity, well, what arctan goes to as b goes to infinity is pi over 2. So this part is pi over 2. Arctan of 0 is 0. So this integral is pi over 2. Now, we could have had a different integral. We could, have had, uh, we could have had this. We could have had negative infinity to 0 of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Okay? So, in other words, we could have, uh, instead of starting at 0 and going to infinity, we could have come from negative infinity to 0. Well, we work this problem the same way. We're going to take the limit. Let me call it a this time. As a goes to negative infinity, of uh, the integral from a to 0. See? And we still, of course, have the same inside. Like that. Okay? And we work it exactly the same way. We've got the limit as a goes to negative infinity of arctan arctan of x from a to 0, like that. And now, so let's see what we've got here. We've got arctan 
of zero minus the limit as a goes to negative infinity arctan of a. Now we've already had the discussion arctan of zero is zero so here we've got zero minus arctan of a as a goes to negative infinity well that would be negative pi over two so these two negatives make a positive so this is going to be pi over two okay so so notice we have we've dealt with this integral from zero to infinity and then we've said well let's go the other way it's come from negative infinity to zero and we've dealt with both of those now Sometimes you'll see this situation where you have negative infinity to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Okay, so how do we deal with that? <laughs> so, so we've got uh, both places where we have uh, infinity. So here, here's what we do. We immediately pick a number in between here. Something in between negative infinity and infinity uh, where, where the function is defined. And we break this up into two integrals. So like this. I'm going to write this as negative infinity to zero. Plus, now I'll pick it up over here, zero to infinity. Like that. In other words, I, I take this and I break it up into two integrals like this. Now we've already solved this, the, both of these, and we found that this is pi over two, and we found that this one's pi over two. So, I mean, we we already did the work. There's no use doing it again. So this whole thing would just be pi. This whole integral here would just be pi. But this gives you an overview of how the method works. If we're going from zero to infinity, if we're going from negative infinity to zero, if we're going from negative infinity to infinity. Now, we don't, it, it's not the case that you have to start at zero and go to infinity. I just did that here. You could start at one and go to infinity. I just did this for simplicity to kind of show you uh, an overview of how this process works.